having a lot of cramping. I woke up at nine and it was because I felt like really bad cramping. And my stomach was really hard last night. It was like getting really hard, but I just kind of thought those were like Braxton Hicks because I was able to kind of still like move around cool. So then nine o'clock rolls around this morning and I'm getting such bad cramping to the point where like I have to like move and try to get myself comfortable again because it hurts so bad. And then now I normally wake up around 11 o'clock. I know it's super late, but that's just how my body's been feeling. And I just cannot stay in bed. I feel like I'm cramping up so bad and it hurts really, really bad. Um, so I'm like just timing every time that I'm getting cramping going on because it hurts but it only like happens for like a quick couple like a minute or so and then it kind of comes in waves so I'm just trying to like obviously stay calm I think that it's cramping because I'm feeling it mainly on the area where my like incision would have been would be but it is just at a 10 right now and it's been at a 10 since 9 this morning and I've just been trying to sleep it off but it's just so bad also sorry it's coming again I was supposed to get a call on Wednesday night in regards to everything for my c-section I actually got the call this morning I was trying to sleep though and I thought it was a spam call so I just sent it to my voicemail but I ended up getting the call today, running me through everything. That one was brutal, I had to walk around for a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm like kind of in disbelief right now because I am in so much pain, but I don't know, I'm just like, I try, I, I'm trying to downplay it, but it's really getting to me now. Like I'm in like a lot of pain on my pelvis area, so. I don't think, I don't know. I don't wanna to go to the hospital because I don't want for them to just like discharge. And in reality, like it was stuff that like I could have done at home, like just take Tylenol or something. But the only thing that throws it off too is like the doctor said, don't take medicine <laughs> before you go in and say my water breaks and I took a Tylenol, then like I'm gonna freak, freak out, so yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep you guys in the loop. Today is a weird day already. We're starting off funky, but yeah, I don't feel, something doesn't feel right. And that's what's kind of like scaring me, but maybe I just need to keep walking around for a little bit. And ideally I wanted to wait until my water breaks to like start doing everything. But if my pain keeps going up like this, then there's no way I'm waiting for my water to break. Like, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Okay, we have dramatically updated drastically. So my contractions got worse. I was getting them like 10, 15, it started off at 20 minutes apart. And then now it's coming closer and closer. And at 20 minutes, like I literally woke up Josh cause I was going back and forth with like, what if this is not gonna happen today? Like what if I'm just like, just cramping? No, I had to wake him up because I got a really, really bad one. And then I called our OB and they just referred me to come in. And the lady was explaining how just because I am scheduled for one in two days that they might just admit me a little earlier. But they just want to track everything with baby boy. Josh is over there dying right now. I feel like we're actually in the same exact room that we were when we filmed Esme's video. You guys didn't see that because that clip kind of had to get demolished when... Um, they got really busy and then we couldn't give birth to her on the first night that she was really scheduled for. Right now they're coming in 10 minutes apart and they're so unbearably painful. So when I have this little time, I'm trying to like utilize it to like really try and record and update you guys. But yeah, I'm all monitored up. Vinny, shout out to Vinny. Vinny brought, Vinny came and was able to get us. 
Alrighty, I was just checked and now I'm at a three centimeters, which is so crazy. Like that just kind of made me realize <laughs> that it could be happening today because when I was checked like two weeks ago, I think was last time I was checked and I wasn't even open, not one thing. So they were just like, oh, it's okay. And then now I am three centimeters and I feel like that's literally happening like from this morning because I'm in so much pain. The doctor did say that on the monitor it actually comes a lot quicker that I just probably don't feel them. The ones that are in between the 10 minutes. And yeah, Josh went down. I'm sorry, my doctors just came in again. I literally love the staff here. They remember me from when we had Esme in 2022 and they're like so excited to see Josh and I back. I love them so much, they're so cute. Um, but yeah, I, where was I finishing at? Oh, Josh is downstairs. He actually has allergies right now. So he went to go get a Zyrtec so that he's not like all funny when we're in the surgical room and then i'm gonna get checked in two hours unless anything progresses then yeah my phlebotomist came in she's so sweet she was like sore i remember you and then when they were talking um the doctor was like we may be doing this today and then she was like well let me know and i can just poke her and we can get it all set so i'm still able to talk we're doing good um, but there have been some pretty scary moments throughout these past couple hours. It's 5.44? It's 5.44. And I've been cramping throughout the time. So then they just checked me again. I'm at like three and a half, close to four for my cervix. So then, and they just swapped doctors, like um, the staff. So she said that they definitely are gonna get me officially admitted now that I am at the four and just yeah they just wanted to see if it was going to progress or if i was just gonna get stuck at, like the three and like maybe like he's just opening up but yeah now we at least know that we're officially going in tonight 